Welcome, comrades. It's Commissar Bro. And this is the situation of the Empire of Djibouti. Uh, really, the multi party democracy of Djibouti. But whatever. What's important is this is where we are. This is the Empire State. We're currently at war with Russia, Algeria, eh, with that Cote d'Ivoire. Turkmenistan and Qatar. I don't think anybody else is really uh, coming at us for anything. But where I left, we were engaged in a massive naval battle with the Russian forces to decide who controls this sea. So let's go ahead and kind of tank on through it and hopefully Djibouti wins. These are the most high-tech navies in the world, after all, aside from the United States, who's currently not involved. Oh, this is just absolutely exciting, isn't it? Full assault! Alright, well, we blew up all their frigates. Bringing down the destroyers. Okay, I'm not going to watch that all day. It takes a little bit too long. And what we're doing as well is we're annexing Iraq and uh, what is this Jordan was this Jordan I think it was yeah Jordan as you can tell we're creating a massive Middle Eastern Empire that will take over the world with its massive oil markets fueled by the power of our roller coasters yes yes we're gonna have lots of Lots of those little, you know, souvenirs and, and lots of mini games that you can play, like the Bottle Cap one. That's right. As of my last attempt, espionage did not go so well. So I've decided to stay away from it, really. I'm just going to allow my spies to remain active. Because we did lose both Bonded James and Bonded James 2.0. Unfortunately. However, great news! We won the battle against Russia and we demolished their fleets. They have no fleets left. Effectively. This is good news for us. Because that means that only one other power has the power to take us on in single combat. That being the United States. The question is, are they going to? Probably not. Now in this world where we are being dominated in the air market, it is time to design new airships, planes, and all that good nonsense. We're going to max out this, but I never really like maxing out stealth just because, look, right now it's one point, well, max out sensors, 1.5. It chunks it up a little bit. So let's bring it down to, yeah, about that level. That should be fine. We will use the chassis of an F-18. Yeah, look at that sexy beast. We'll make it black. And paint it black. There we go. Alright, now let's call it the... I don't know, I'm not very good at names. Let's say... The Broinator. The, yeah, the Broinator. You know, like it, it donates bros. I don't know. <laughs> the Broinator Mark 1. There we go. Right, that's Mr. 1. Mark! Actually, let's call it a Mach 7.5, because it's not quite 8. There we go. Alright, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and design it. The, the one before it was the Shake and Bake. And the Shake and Bake's really old in this modern era of Djibouti. Djibouti in politics. Oh, look, Qatar sent a navy out. How absolutely cute is that? How long does it take to annex things nowadays? As you can see, as per usual, the world hates me, except for the United States and Europe. But nothing new there. Israel likes me, though. Hey, Israel. Aren't you just so cute? I love Israel. They're out to help me. But don't get too attached. Because Djiboutian politics demands that they are one day under the boot of Djibouti. Oh my god. I'm awful. A fifth of my total expenses comes from my military. Good God. Everything else is budget expenses. Still, look at that. $116 billion spent on the military every year. 
You know, for countries like the United States, that's not really that big of a deal. Being so massively rich as they are, for example, bam, $10 trillion in the bank. If only it was the real U.S., right? <laughs> Compared to me, and a whopping $22 billion in the hole. Just kidding. $22 billion in the hole for me is really not that bad. But I'm ready to hurry up and take over these stupid countries. Aha! Enemy! Perpetrator! Move the army. We must assault this army of Qatar. Two thousand six hundred thirty-two infantrymen. Well, that's a slaughter if I've ever seen one. What? I can't attack Qatar on my own fucking territory? Screw you guys! Screw all of you! <laughs> I'm not gonna take some flack for that. You know what? Fuck it! We're taking Qatar over! They've been a thorn in my side this entire time! For Djibouti! Ah, look at the Qatarian military! Bring it down! Bring it all down! This is my country now! Occupy it! Alright, now let's go back home! That's what those punks get for coming into Djibouti. Thinking they could ride my roller coasters for free? Unacceptable. Oh man, we got Iraq and look how expensive they are! Jesus, let's uh, make sure the army's parked. Looks like they are. Oh man, oh that's not good for Djibouti. No good for Djibouti at all. Taxes! We might have to raise them. Let taxes shower us in glory. In hindsight, this is looking like it wasn't that grave an idea, was it? Alright, there we go. We're only making about five billion, but who cares? We have the second most, well, relatively speaking, the second most powerful army in the world. And lots of reasons to be happy. Alright, now we just need to incorporate Jordan and Qatar into our empire. And we will be ready. Ooh, let's park these guys. Maybe they're taking up a lot of our expenses too. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, they were. They were taking up a huge chunk. Like $40 billion. Oh, man. I'm such an idiot. Look, the commissar's just not paying attention today. What is wrong? Look, I take five days off. And I just, my mind goes to hell, guys. I, I don't know what to say. But it doesn't matter. Because now we have Qatar, Jordan, and Iraq incorporated into our empire. As you can see, the only piece of the Middle East that is not ours to feast upon, I guess. Oh, ugh, rhymes. Is this. Iran. And, well, a Syrian... Uh, occupied Syria by US Israel and their piece of the West Bank there they've got Lebanon and also another US occupied Iran but we're doing great we're doing really great super great so great that I might actually take over Ethiopia possibly Possibly. I'm not guaranteeing anything because they've got a big population and I love poor people. So, <laughs> I make no guarantees. There. We started buying textbooks for the people of Djibouti again. Because, well, we need them. Fortunately, I need intelligence in my ranks. I need people to become smarter. Work harder. Why is tourism going down? Is my stability down? No, my stability is going back up, as well as my approval. So you should be rising! Hmm, should I permit same-sex marriage? Not really against the gays, but at the same time, would my people actually like that? Eh, let's find out! Permit. Damn, oh god, no, oh god. <laughs> um... Ooh, well, apparently Djibouti doesn't like homosexuals. That's kind of, uh... Hmm. For all the hate-mongering that we spew around here in Djibouti, I do believe that everybody should be able to come to my amusement box. No reason to... <laughs> no reason to pick and choose who can and cannot. 
As long as they are under the banner of Djibouti, they are allowed in my parks. Except for pedophiles, yeah. We're, we're still not going to let that one fly. That's kind of just, uh, yeah, we... <laughs> the children of Djibouti should be safe! Especially because they make up such a large population. Look at that. 32% of my population is under the age of 14. God! <laughs> See, look, this is why amusement parks are so important in Djibouti. We have so many freaking kids, man! Oh my god, I took over all these poor countries and now look at it. Ugh, my production is like in the poop. The poop shoot! And we must raise it! Rise it. Make it better. Stronger. Come on, let's see. 5%. There we go. We are now meeting cereal demand. Good. Good. We need to at least make something. Alright, the next one I'm going to try for is vegetables and fruits. So we stop paying so much to whoever we're paying money to for those particular goods. We want to produce it ourselves. Be self-sufficient. Because then we'll be stronger and more powerful. By the way, I wanted to point out, I think that we are like the third largest economy in the game now. Look, we're we're huge. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Russia's still ahead of us. So we're the fourth largest with the United States. Actually, no. India. India is in the lead for the strongest. Then we have the United States. Oh my god, Mexico! <laughs> what? Mexico? What is this? What, what is, what is this? Why does Mexico have such an old population? 40% of the population is over the age of 65! Yet they're rich! They're, they're, they're almost as rich as the US! Oh my god! In here I thought this was the rise of Djibouti! I should have called this crap the rise of Mexico! Mexico's trying to take over the world! <laughs> Everybody prepare to speak Spanish! So... Well, I think this is a good, good place for Djibouti right now. We have enemies on our borders, on all sides, really. Egypt is starting to look like a pretty good target for our uh, anger, frustration. Plus, it would be good for us to go ahead and take them out while they have such a powerful army. Because that could cause problems later on down the road. Especially if the whole world decides to, you know, stop... Djibouti and aggression. But I think we'll take a look at that next time. The rise of Djibouti number nine. Woo! That's right. Can we conclude the series before 11 or 12? I think so. Tune in next time. And thanks for watching, guys. This has been Commissar Bro.